What is up? I'm Juan Turtle, and today we are doing another card opening. We're not doing Pokemon, we're rebooting our WTF is this TCG. Uh, we're opening a box of something we've opened up in the past, but I had one lying around, and that is Card Fight Vanguard. Don't know much about this game. Primary Melody. We actually got an amazing card last time. I didn't realize till after the fact. And uh, I figured, I'd, let me do a little research. I was trying to figure, all right, what is this thing? It's like, is this some kind of pop? idol group that I'm not aware of in I don't know Korea or something and I just did a quick Google search and so this is for one of the Vanguard clans Bermuda Triangle one of the oldest clans I guess um, has this and there is a idol group popular mermaid idol group so there are mermaids I think some of them yeah, actually you can see right here oh okay this is actually they are mermaids from from the nation of Magalancia all right this last part is funny in the anime series, the car the clan isn't equipped with the strongest people, uh, but what they lack in military power, they make up for in positive positivity and good vibes. Oh my! <laughs> so let's see what we can do. And um, it seems that this card fight, they or at least this at least this set, at least or I think for all the sets, they kind of go pretty hard with this max rarity thing, which I don't really mind. Especially when the you know the non-max rarity variants are not that hard to pull. That way, if you want to play competitive, you can still do it. But then there's ways to swag out your decks. I feel like a good Pokemon equivalent is obviously like full art supporters and stuff like that. But probably like the secret rare energies is a also a good example. It looks kind of cool, I guess. And let's see. I think there's kind of yeah. There's some promos or whatever. And uh, yeah, we have a force. We have force. Very nice, and we have 12 booster packs. So it is seven cards. I think each box comes with a SVR and a small chance to get SP or SSP, which is that max rarity. So the SSP, they are like sign cards, but then like there's different si signatures. There's like a silver signature, a gold one, a rainbow one. <laughs> so if we can pull a sign card, that'd be amazing. I'm scared I'm gonna damage the cards when I open them like this. I might use these pair of scissors if I can find them, which I don't see them, but all right, let's get right into our first pack. This opening might be kind of quick because I have no idea what I'm looking at, but we have a boister, boisted elegance. So I think we're just keeping an eye on the bottom. So this is, is a common, another common. All right, full of mischievous Sira. <laughs> okay, she has like a paintball gun. All right, so this is clearly a mermaid in direct sign Persh. Critical, and here we have our rare. Let's see down here, and it is lovable spontaneity vol. And then, oh wait, so we got two rares. Okay, I wonder if this is kind of like a reverse. You can kind of see it is some kind of like uh, foiling pattern. And actually, no, this one does too. I feel like it is slightly different. And so we got two rares in one pack. All right. Oh wait, no, I think that's for every pack. And I'm just gonna grab a pair of scissors real quick. I was getting to pack number two. So yeah, these max rarity things, they're going for like hundreds of dollars on TCG player. I'm not sure if any of them ever get sold, but uh, I guess potentially they are worth quite a bit. All right, we're actually gonna kind of go really quick. The Leshar, we're gonna start seeing some duplicates. A Kuel, Kuli, Rena, <laughs> the mermaids. Ooh, what is this? Oh wait, we got something. Alright, so here is a rare Equable Career Spiana. And, uh. Come on. <laughs> I can't actually, honestly, can't see it. But I think this is a SVR. So this might be our SVR for the pack. Colorful Pestir Pestiral Sonata. Looks pretty cool. Alright. It's textured too. Actually, all these, like, shape things are textured. So, yeah, maybe that's a good hit. All right, so I did take a look, and this is a $20 card. So it is the SVR, and yeah, I'll just show it like this. You know, there is quite a bit of texture and foiling. That is really cool. So I actually think we got a good card. <laughs> no idea what it does. 13,000 though. All right, 13,000 of something, which is probably good. All right, so we got one of the SVR idols. <laughs> I feel very silly opening these things. We got in in, in time, all right, and then Paparia. 
Astina, <laughs> Rigur, whatever, Rina. All right, now it's clearly these are Mer people, and our rare is Biana again, Equable Career, and Fluffy Wonder. What is Fluffy about you? All right. First, I thought maybe it was like a five um, person idol group, but it seems like there are more than five people. Here we have a leash and uh, whatever. <laughs> Leshar again. We're pulling a lot of her. Irma. And then Scotia and Aitri. Aitri. So, yeah, if you know anything about the card. The card game Vanguard Card Fight. And is the Bermuda Triangle clan good? At first I thought this was kind of like a one-off thing. Like that these cards actually had nothing to do with the show. Or the kind of like the lore. And they just kind of added in. Um, kind of like White Shorts I think. Adds like a bunch of like random anime to their card game. But apparently this is actually part of. It's one of the clans. And we got Petieri and Vol again. Not sure if these rares are any worth anything. But yeah, if this uh, if these cards make up a very viable deck in the meta, and you're actually familiar with it, let me know and uh, tell me why that is. Especially when they're not very strong, they must have some different kind of mechanic uh, where they I don't know power each other up or something like that. A Stina again, Sira, Elena, uh, Crawl Up Girl S. And, okay, I think this is our another SR, Broomy. So this does have a different foiling pattern. Put this one off to the side as well. So I think with that, with the fact that we got the SVR means we won't get a SSR or autograph card, which is not that surprising. We did get a SP or special card in our last box. And I think, for some reason, I think they said like, for a case. You'll get one or something like that. All right, our next dies. So DS or dies for our next rare. And uh, Thoria, um, officious luscious. Okay. Seems like all the mer people are female. Or the men don't sing or something. Leshar. Rel uh, Astina again, Sira, a Irma, Ruhe is our rare, and then Rev Revare. That's one thing about doing this series is like I kind of just have to look at the the arts and go based on that because I don't have no idea what's going on with the TCG as far as mechanics and stuff. And at least like something like Dragon Ball, I can appreciate the characters and stuff like that and the art. To be honest, like this kind of art stuff doesn't really appeal to me. Alish, Persh, and uh, Inasta is our rare. A little squid thingy. And then, ooh, what is this? Okay, we, maybe we got uh, got lucky with that SVR because they think this is a S... Well, it's something special. Colorful Pastor Fina this time versus the other one we got was... Sonata. All right. So this one might be something special. Oh, it is textured. Not as much as this one. Like this one, like all these golden stars and stuff like that. I'm not sure you can tell, but it is very different. So we'll take a look at both of those cards in a little bit and finish up this box. So if you thought Pokemon was uh, over the top as far as max rarity and stuff like that, while I do think they kind of are actually not over the top i feel like i would appreciate if they did some different stuff i mean i like the idea of doing like a signature kind of thing i think some card games arjun saga does like very limited printings of their super rare cards and it's just like a cosmetic difference you know if you want to get the regular card you can get it for significantly cheaper i do like the alternates for pokemon like you know the character rare is very cool uh, but I do think they want, they should keep innovating is my point there. All right, Alicia again, Elena, oh, a Pateri for Super Hit Medley, and another SR card, Greenus Energy Salia. Okay, we will take it, I suppose. All right, last pack of this awkward opening. 
<laughs> appreciate if you guys did watch and appreciate more if you did hit that like button. It does help promote the channel. And for our last pack, we have a leash. Oival. And if we did hit anything really cool, I'll let you know after the rest of this opening. Strassia. And boom! Oh, another SR or something. Uh, Rainy Tear Streza. So, alright, to recap, we got Herb, which we just pulled. Salia of Green Greenest Energy, alright. A Colorful Pesuro Fina. I, for some reason, I think the, the SP we got was of her. Uh, Brume and Sonata is our big hit. And, um,. Yeah, so as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope to continue doing this series. Um, just haven't been sure what to do. If you have any ideas, let me know in a comment down below. On that, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.